We're going to take a look at advanced tooth segmentation functionality. This is a way of extracting teeth from the CT scan and turning them into their own surfaces. The segmentation panel can be opened by going to the panel drop-down and choosing segmentation. The process starts by pressing the indicate tooth button and drawing a rectangle around the tooth that you would like to extract or segment. Pressing next brings up our segmentation panel. We can see that the software is going to show us five slices. Here we're going to indicate where the tooth is. And after we do the five slices, the software is going to compute the rest. The tools that we have at our disposal are on the screen. Generally, I like using Intelligent Lasso. The reason it's intelligent is because you're able to select the minimum density. You can use the dropper, click on screen, and the minimum density gets updated so nothing below this density is going to be selected automatically. Whenever you use a tool you hold down the shift key. The orange cross on the screen shows us the vicinity of the tooth that we chose. Filling holes will fill in any holes that we have. And we're going to go slice by slice here and select the relevant areas up to slice number two fill holes we'll use the brush tool here also to fill in some parts that are below the density threshold Use fill holes again. Go on to next. Here we see with the pink stripes the areas that we've already indicated. So we actually see that we might have indicated too much in one of the slices. We'll use the eraser and just trim off part of the indicators over there. And let's go ahead with our intelligent lasso. You lasso around the tooth. Fill the holes. We can also use the brush to close off sections. And then when we use the fill holes, it will fill in everything in the middle. and we're up to our last slice it creates a surface and it shows us the tooth in the 3D view we have options here to smooth it out or inflate or deflate it. And once we're done, we press create surface. And if we want to extract it from the CT scan, we click remove from 3D view. We now have in our surfaces panel the tooth model itself. We have the CT with the tooth extracted. If we want to go back to the original CT, we still have the original. And we could go ahead and perform this process on additional teeth. When we have clearly defined teeth that aren't molars, we could actually do multiple teeth at the same time and go ahead and extract the relevant teeth.